Hello, fellow Git experts. I hope you are doing well. And this is the final video in the relearning Git from scratch series. And in this episode, we will claim our sweet reward. And that reward should be fairly obvious by now. Um, for anyone who has used Git for any length of time, you know that the real reason that any developer wants to use Git is for the pretty pictures. Because where else in development do developers get to draw pretty pictures with pretty colors and little circles and lines? I mean, not too many other areas that we have this type of reward for our effort. And what's great is we are rewarded for complexity, more elaborate projects, for implementing best practices, using branching. So we don't use Git for its specifications or its remote repository architecture, no. We actually use Git because inside of every developer is a six-year-old who craved that giant box of crayons in elementary school. So as a result, I love Git for this very reason, but I have not had the skills or the knowledge to actually get this, you know, this trophy of a fantastic multicolored rainbow array of subway lines traveling throughout Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code. But we shall change that right now. I will show you, or I will attempt to show you, based on my very limited Git skills, how we can achieve such a masterpiece using Git. So first, we need an artistic strategy. I'm told that artists have visions of, of what they want to achieve. So we need to sit down and as uh, developers, we need to talk about our, our Git branching strategy in order to achieve true art. And we have a few rules here. Branches are colors. Now, I suspect we're going to find the limit of how many colors we can have. And that's probably limited not by Git or branching or anything, except for the extension or tool you use to display your Git flow diagram. But we're going to try our best. Second is Circles and lines are commits. So if we want to draw the subway line design and have little circles coming out, we're going to have to do commits. And then where we have the colors merge, those are our intersections. And you can have fairly conventional merges, but we're going to see if we can get kind of fancy with that and do things that obviously are nonsensical, but produce art. And with that, let's get started. Okay, so here I have a blank VS Code project. So this is brand new. Did AL go? I created an empty file called drawing.al. And I did not even initialize this repository because as newly certified Git experts, we are going to do everything via terminal. Okay, we're going to try to avoid clicking buttons in Visual Studio. Let's see how far we can get. So with this, we need to initialize our repository. So, <laughs> hello, Kristen. Thank you for joining me. And if you're up for seeing some development art, Come join us. Pull up your VS code, Kristen, and uh, let's start doing some Git. So let's do a Git init. Okay, so we have now initialized our local repository. And of course, everything we're doing is going to be local. I believe we can do all of this locally without pushing to a remote repository. Okay, so we have our init now, and let's see what we've got. Unable to load commit. So I'm using Git Graph. There may be another extension or another tool you could use, um, uh, whatever those other uh, tools are. I forget what they are. But uh, we have 
no commits at the time. So Git graph is saying, sorry, I can't display anything. Great. So let's commit. So let's do a git add star. And then let's do a git commit art inbound. Okay, so we should have one dot. And there we go. We're starting out with one dot. It defaulted to the master branch because I didn't change the name. And that's it. That's our master. That's our starting point. So let's just move this uh, train along in the process. And so um, initial commit uh, new branch. And now we can do the same thing. So we're going to git add star and uh, station one, let's call it. That's going to fall apart quickly, but okay. So now we have a second commit and there we see a line and a dot. So we're doing great so far. Well, our subway system, our art is going to branch off here and I'm going to use a whole bunch of irrelevant, terrible analogies as I go through this. I'm sure it's been a very long day. And so um, before I do that, let's branch. Let's branch. Okay, so how do we branch? Well, we branch by doing git checkout. Yep, so let's do some git checkout. So let's do a git checkout dev. Oh, we need to do a dash b. And so a dash b creates the branch and then switches us onto that branch. So git checkout dash b. And we have switched to the new branch dev. And now we're on dev. Okay, and then we're going to git add star, git commit, dev. Okay, and we should have a second color here. Oh, not yet, because we haven't. Hmm, that is interesting. Same color, that's kind of disappointing. I think we must have to do an additional um, more dev. Okay. Hopefully this isn't a big disappointment and I can't achieve greatness in the art world. Um, okay. So I just did a new commit. Okay. So this is actually really cool. This is a good learning experience. So <laughs> come on, Kristen, if you know how to use a crayon, you can join us here in development world. Um, I'm, I'm getting started, it's kind of slow. So why do we have the same color here? Any guesses? And you're probably screaming at your monitor. I won't hear it for another minute or so or won't see it. And, but you're probably right. It is because we're essentially along the same, uh, well, we're on the same path as master. Hmm. Okay, so let's just switch back to master. Get check out master. And now let's make a change to master back at master. And then we're going to get add. The goal is to get a different color. I'll be so disappointed if I can't get that to happen. Yes. We have achieved greatness. We have two colors, folks. We are nowhere near that 64 crayon pack, but okay. Finally, so in order to have uh, the second color, I mean, we may change this to dev. We were branching and we we're diverging from master, but it didn't let us have a second color until we had another change on the dev branch. That is surprising, but okay, whatever. Okay, so we're just getting started with the prettiness, folks. Um, Okay, so now we have two colors and we are on dev. Well, now is where the fun comes in. Let's do a git checkout dev, get back to our dev branch. And all good devs make sure to do a feature or hotfix or some other branch before they proceed naturally because you don't want to start messing up your sacred dev branch. So let's do a git checkout dash b. And this will be feature one. 
Okay, and now we know now we know we need some divergence between dev and feature one. So what we can do is um, we can call this feature one and let's do a git add star and git commit dash m feature one and there we go and we shouldn't see a third color yet as expected so very interesting now our master is purple everything else is blue ah oh boy my my art strategy may <laughs> may be pretty poor but let's see how this goes okay so we made a change to feature one that's fine and now let's get multiple branches going off of there so let's get back to dev and let's do a feature two branch because we know we're going to want more colors and so we are on feature two okay we should really start to be diverging at, diverging at this point so now we're going to do a git add star git commit feature two and third color now interestingly it's pushing master to the different color i would have thought master stays as blue um, and i'm assuming this is all handled based on the logic of git graph this git graph extension if you were to use um whatever the one is for bitbucket lassian uh, th that may have a completely different behavior that would be interesting to try in my extensive free time but I'm surprised feature one is drifting off into different colors. Feature two is going strong with blue. It's kind of in the lead, it looks like. So now, um, okay, so we made a change to feature two. Now, let's say we go back, get checkout feature one, and let's make another change, add feature. Okay, and we're going to do a git commit Oh, change is not stage. Ah, okay, good lesson. Okay, so feature two is drifting along. Feature one, okay, hmm. So we're not making much progress. We do have feature one, feature two, different colors. So maybe we need a feature three to really spice things up. So let's do a git checkout master oops we want to get check out check out dev actually let's add a new feature branch off of dev and if you're following along at home um where we have feature one and two so git uh checkout dash b feature three okay and let's just get crazy here let's get back to dev and get checkout dash b feature four whoo I don't know if I can handle this getting hot in here. So we shouldn't have much activity on three and four. Um, yep, they're they're kind of drifting along. They're just essentially the same as dev. But now that we're on feature four, feature four is in here. And now we have saved that. We're gonna do our, and there's probably a way to do shortcuts of multiple commands, but git add star git commit feature four and this is actually a pretty good exercise because if i do something once i don't really learn it i have to do something like 10 times and just repeat it for it to sink in i've done entire projects where i've worked on something for a customer and i started on a friday i ended on a friday afternoon and got it done pushed it out on Monday, the customer stopped. I was at a client site. Customer stopped over to my cube and they asked me a question, said, um, yeah, Steve, about that thing. And I just looked at them and I said, what, what thing? They said, oh, that thing you did. It's like, what thing did I do? And they literally had to explain to me what I did on Friday because I just bang it out, wrote it, left for the day, had a good weekend. I literally couldn't remember a single thing that I did on Friday. And they looked at me like I had lost my mind. And I thought, it, I thought I lost my mind because I could not remember a single detail. I went and looked at the code. 
sure enough, there's code there. There's probably an email that I looked at. And only after several minutes of trying to remember could I even remember what happened just because I did it so quickly. So that's the danger of me doing things too fast. And when I keep repeating it over and over, then it's, it just sinks in. It's, you know, the repetitive learning. And it's really hard to do that oftentimes on a real project because a customer asks you to do this, you do it once. Another customer asks you to do something else, you do that once. Two weeks later, you have forgotten what you did for customer one. And it's like, oh, because that was different than every other customer project. So when I'm learning fundamentals, the only way I can learn this is just by practicing and repeating it, like typing or something. Okay, so we made a change to feature four. How are we doing over here? Okay, we have three colors here. As before, master's getting pushed off to the new color. And feature four is the new guy on the block, I guess. Um, so that is interesting. So we did a couple of commits here. We're, that must have been dev. Yep, there's dev. Okay, so dev is that last dot. We branched feature one and two um, off of dev. They proceeded, so we have commits from there. Feature three is still held back. He's feeling really, really bad right now. He's kind of lonely. So let's do a git checkout feature three and show him some love and Okay, so feature three has arrived. And now we will git add star and git commit m feature three. Okay, so now we have a commit on feature three. Cool. One, two, three, four colors. I did, I, no, one, two, three, four, five colors. I can't even count. Okay, wow, five colors. That's already past my expectations here. I mean, we may get the whole crayon set here. Okay, so now Master is kind of feeling lonely. Um, can we push Master once more? Let's try. So get checkout Master. It's like those horse races at the arcade where you have to like throw a beanbag and you watch the horse gallop. Let's try to get Master to proceed a little bit. So we're on the Master branch now. Show master some love. Okay, and now let's do git add star git commit m trying to catch up. Okay, so let's see what happens. Ooh, 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 what happened? Okay, wow. So master was the latest commit. Ah. The latest commit may be in blue, and it's just switching the colors. Hmm, I don't know why I feel that. I, I think I kind of like my features to be tied to particular colors, but okay, look at this. We have a horse race, folks. Uh, feature masters in the lead because it had the latest commit. Okay, so let's go for it. Let's do git checkout dev. Let's switch back to dev and git checkout dash b feature five. Oh, typo, but it handled it. A branch name feature four already exists. That's good to know. Git checkout B feature five. We have feature five, newbie on the block. So let's make five happen. Feature five. Okay. And of course we have a git add, git commit, five. How are we doing here? Yep, feature five moves to the top. It's the most recent. So we're looking kind of cool here. So now we need to invoke our other strategy. And let me look back at my slide here. And our other strategy was, so we've got branches, we've got our colors, we've got some commits, we've got circles and lines. So now let's get some crisscross action here and see how we can create some kind of little colorful chaos. Okay. <laughs> yes, Kristen says we're not done until we hit 20 colors. I mean, I'm pretty surprised. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, okay, let's try for a couple more colors. Let's see what happens, how many colors this thing has in its palette. So uh, let's go back to dev. Um, Git uh, checkout dev 
and git checkout dash b uh, feature six. Can we? And while we're at it, um, git checkout dev feature seven. Okay, so we have feature six and feature seven on the blocks ready to go. And we are in feature seven, so let's just make that happen. Okay, and let's do our git add, git commit seven. And now let's check out feature six with no B. Okay, and now we're in feature six. And how are we doing? Okay, ooh, nice teal, I like it. Okay, um, git add star, git six. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different colors. Mm -hmm. We've got master and seven features. Okay, so now let's invoke our merge art strategy. And now, as we see here, the latest branch, it looks like, to get a commit is in the leads. And so it ends up on the far left. So we have six over here. So let's try to flip that and push master over on the far left. So let's do a git checkout master. And let's just give master a little bump. And now we should have uncommitted change. There we go. Now we have git add star more here. Okay. Okay. So now master's on the far left. Um, boy, this would be really tricky to try to get them all lined up, but let's just do something else. Let's do git checkout, hmm, git checkout feature one. And now we have feature one here. It's got a few commits. Let's merge it into dev. Oh, that was master. Okay, let's see what happens when we merge it in a dev. So we need to do a git checkout dev. And we do a git merge, git merge. Yeah, just git merge. Git merge feature one. Okay. We just saw a fast forward merge. I'm not impressed. It just changed dev to teal. And that's probably because dev did not have a commit. Okay. So not sure how I feel about that. It's not quite what I was looking for. Let's use one of the things we learned. I changed my mind. I don't like that artwork. I'm going to pull out my eraser. I'm going to go to source control. And as we learned in the prior video, or yeah, prior video, we can do commit, undo last commit. No, it was a merge. Can we undo a merge? I don't know. I don't know. I'm stressed. Uh, merge. That was a fast forward. Let's see what happens. What's the worst that could happen? Undo last commit. Whoa, that's weird. Look at that. It just branched off feature from, okay, I don't know what's happening, but that probably wasn't the right strategy. Okay, let's see if we can recover. Okay, so, okay, let's think about this. I think we need a little more activity on dev in order to get it to proceed so that we see this nice streamlined um, connection intersection there. So let's do a git checkout dev already on dev. Oh, okay, so let's go to drawing.al. Oh, that's not what I want. I got to go to files first. Drawing, get out of here. Drawing.al and dev here. Okay, now we've got this uncommitted change. Let's commit to dev. Git commit, more dev. Okay, what just happened? Okay, dev proceeded. So now we've got some activity on dev. Let's do another commit on dev, just so we know. Me again, 
and okay there we go so so devs chugging chugging along now let's go back to feature one and push that back now we already branched off and so let's just do one more on on dev okay so one more time okay get add okay i wonder if i'm the first person to do this let's no, that can't be possible. Other developers have wanted crayons. Okay, so we're well ahead on dev. Now it's time. Now it's time to get check out feature one. And, oops. Okay, so now we're on feature one. And, oh, actually, we want to go back to dev. Starts to get confusing. We do want to be on dev so that we can merge feature one in. Um, so git merge feature one. Okay, why is that? Git merge feature one. Now it says, oh, automatic merge failed. What are my conflicts? Accept both changes and then commit the result. Okay, I can do that. So the merge conflict prevents it from finishing the line and doing the merge. So let's see if we can wrap this up. So now we have uh, fixed our merge conflict and Git add, let them merge. Yay, okay, we have our first color intersection now. Okay, so now, when, now let's see if we can have some fun. So let's get some uh, commits on feature two so that we can start to have fun with two and three. And so we're gonna get Git checkout feature two. Okay, now that we're on feature two, let's make a few changes and two. Oh, what just happened? Failed to save, the content of the file is newer. Okay, let me just close this, don't save. Okay, so this, will probably expose some subtle mistakes that you can make when doing these types of things. There we go, feature two, more two. Okay, that worked, no errors. Okay, so now let's do a git add and let's do a two. Okay, so how are we doing? Two should just be chugging along. Oh, interesting. There's feature, what happened to feature two? Feature two is blue now. Okay, so the switching colors, I'm not a fan of it. Like they obviously went with a certain design choice to have the, uh, with Git graph, to have the latest commit be on the far left and kind of the older commits move to the right. I don't know if that's a convention. Um, maybe that's some standard thing, but I, I'd prefer to have fixed colors. You know what, let's take a look and see if there are some options. So in Visual Studio Extensions, you can go in the extension, click on this little gear up here. Let's see if there are extension settings. Okay, so let me make this wider. Auto center, um, compact folders, render the file tree in a compacted form such that folders Ooh, I never even thought of folders in the, oh, in the file view. Okay, that doesn't matter. File type, location. Okay, let's see if we can change. Emojis, sparkles. We can have sparkles and crayons. That's incredible. I don't know what that means, but date format type, default column, push to remote, annotated. It's not looking promising, no commit, checkout. Prune, no commit. Hmm, squash, ignore date, mode. Bummer, oh, color. ooh, look at this. You can specify the colors, look at that. There's 
I mean, there's a solid 20 colors. Kristen, you called it two, four, six, eight. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, maybe 12, 13, something like that. Rounded. Special? Oh, angular? Okay, what happens? Oh, look at that. I kind of like rounded. Rounded's a little nicer. Um, what just happened? Settings. Rounded. Let's go back to rounded. I like that one better. Um, yeah, I'm not hopeful on static colors. Okay, so fine, we'll deal with it. So now we were just working on feature two branch. We added a few commits to get feature two moving along. Let's just do one last change on feature two. And now let's add and commit. Okay. So how are we doing? So feature two is bumping along. Now let's get, let's, cross the streams as they say in Ghostbusters. Let's merge feature two into feature three. I have no idea why a developer would do something like this, but I'm sure that someone has. So get checkout feature three. So we need to move to our destination branch. There, There's probably an alternate way to flip that so you can merge in your um, merge from this branch into another, but let's switch to feature three and then let's make a change in feature three just to um, get another commit on three. Okay, so three has at least one commit. And so now we can merge two into three. I think that was the plan. So git merge feature two. Okay. And we have a merge conflict. We've seen this before. We know the drill. In this case, we're going to accept both changes. It can't render the uncommitted changes due to the feature, um, due to the merge conflict. So we're gonna resolve our merge. We're gonna hit save. And then we are going to commit merged two into three. Okay. And Okay, so it doesn't look quite as exciting because this is dynamically uh, switching all our lines, but I think we're doing pretty good. And it's really stretching the lines because of the number of commits. But now that we have um, feature one merged into dev, I believe, yep. And then we have feature two merged into feature three. Let's get four merged, five merged into four. So git checkout five. Oh, git, git checkout feature five, sorry. Okay, git checkout feature five and five is art. Okay, Let's get some commit here. Okay, get some five. And so we now have a commit on five. It's gonna be on the blue side here. Okay, so now, now that we have a commit on five, let's merge it into six. Okay, so let's see what happens. Git checkout. Actually, I think we wanna to go to six. Let's do a commit on six. And then we'll merge six into five. Come on. Okay, so you're seeing the repetition here. Git add star, git commit, git checkout dash b was creating it, git checkout to switch, git merge. So we're reusing all these commands to make that happen. And uh, I don't quite know, it's hard to predict how git graph is gonna render this, right? Um, because all the colors keep changing, but let's give it a try. So we got into six, we, made a commit, now let's merge into five. So git, git checkout feature five and git merge feature six. And we have a merge conflict, we accept and git add star. 
git commit five. How are we doing? Okay, let's just take a moment to appreciate this. Pretty cool. We're just getting started. We've got a lot of parallel lines and, you know, uh, we're starting to merge them. And let's see how we can get these things. I don't know if this will support crossing. I think it may have to if we get crazy enough. Um, so now we are on feature five. We merge six into five. And now let's merge seven. Okay, so git um, checkout feature seven. Okay, and let's make a change to feature seven. Oh, that's interesting. Even though we committed, it showed six. Oh, okay, so there's feature seven. So let's do some seven here. Git add star, git checkout dash M seven. Okay. Oops, it's not checkout. I'm tired. It's git commit dash M seven. Okay. So there's feature seven. And now let's merge it into what do you think? Two? One? We merge feature one in the dev. Okay. So git um check out feature one and git merge feature seven merge conflict accept both changes save let's close that and now git add star git commit dash m and we are now back at one look at that we now have the crosstown subway connection um, going from feature one, feature seven merged into one, but feature one merged into dev uh, back here. So we're starting to get some craziness. Okay, now feature seven merged into feature one. So it's got some activity that's ahead of dev, I believe is what it's called. So now let's merge feature one into dev as well. So... <coughs> Let's do git checkout dev. And now we're in dev, git merge feature one. Automatic merge failed, not surprising. Oh, okay, let's go here. Oh. Merged, hmm. Automatic. It's not giving me the accept both changes here. That is interesting. So are you sure you want to stage with merge conflicts? So how do I deal with the merge conflicts? Open file. So I see, but it's not showing me the merge conflict view. Interesting. Okay, so we have a little bit of a problem here. Commit. Huh. Open changes. Because no diff. Okay, we may be in trouble here. Um, there's our drawing. If I just hit Reveal commit. Now I am in trouble. Okay, huh. I do not know how to fix this. Um, conflict, merge conflict, automatic. I don't suppose there's a git unmerge. Let's find out. Okay, so git unmerge. Git undo merge. How to undo merge in git. And 
this is an example of why you need to know some Git because we kind of need to know how we got here. Git merge abort. Let's try it. Git merge dash dash abort. <gasps> Look at that. Cool, I just learned something. Okay, probably not a commonly used command, but if you screw up a merge, that's great. Now, what's interesting is that this was just a merge, and once I unmerged, did I merge twice? I don't know how I caused that problem. Um, git merge feature one, and we just checked out dev, so there might have been an uncommitted merge. So let's accept both changes. Okay, so now let's just commit this merge. Oh no, we didn't. Let's just commit this. I don't know the state of things anymore. Git add star git commit dash m we're in dev okay so we are committed now and okay and now we wanted to merge feature oh see look at that it did merge feature one so some strange things are happening but feature one is over here Yeah, so I I have a feeling that the complex merging is not as um, not as obvious as it might seem because that just happened. Okay, so let me let me be careful this time and try to so merge two into three. Okay, so let's switch to feature branch three. So git checkout three feature three. Let's be careful this time. Or let Steve be careful this time. So we are now in feature three branch. Okay, and we see feature two activity because we merged two into three, that's fine. And so continuing three. Okay, so now let me just close it in case there's something weird there. Git add star, git commit three. Okay, so we see three pull ahead. It's on its own. And now, what if we want to merge three into dev? Okay, we're fully committed. I don't think we have any changes. We're all clear. Git checkout dev. Okay, we are now in dev. And let's confirm that. Okay, dev here. Now, we aren't going to touch dev. Let's just merge feature three into dev. Okay, so let me just close this in case that's what's causing the problem. Okay, automatic merge failed. Okay, we open the file. We see the, um, the merge version of the drawing file. Accept both changes. I'm gonna save. Okay, now we have this change. Git add star, git commit, back on dev. Now we're moving somewhere. Look at that. So we have our merge of green, which is feature one into dev. We did that earlier. Then we had feature seven merge into one and merge feature three in the dev. So <laughs> I, I imagine that um, this is, when you have a really complex flow, I imagine this is gonna be really confusing to interpret. Okay, so now we've got feature one, it did merge into dev back here. Uh, can we double merge it? So we have feature one here, if feature seven merged into it, well, let's show feature five some love, okay? So let's get feature five back in the game. Git checkout feature five, and we have switched. Let's open the file. See, look at that. All I did is switch to feature five, and it's saying that we have feature six in here. So maybe I didn't commit after the merge. Okay, so I'm going, uh, okay, 
I'll have to rewatch the instant replay here later. Okay, so that was six merging into five. And now let's do more five after the merge with six. Okay, so I've saved that. I'm going to close it. I am in five. I'm going to git add star, git commit five. Okay, got it. Okay, so now six merged into five, five. Let's merge five into dev now and git checkout feature. No, we want dev. Okay, git merge feature five. Automatic merge conflicts, great. There we go, accept the changes. And obviously we're just accepting the changes as a routine thing. We'd actually have to look at the code to figure out how to do the merge. Okay, we're looking pretty good. Um, what else? We got feature one kind of hanging out here. It was previously merged. Um, feature four. Okay, got to show it some love. So get check out feature four. Oh, okay, merge conflict. We need to commit. Get add star. I probably did forget it. Git um, commit dash m. This is dev. Okay. Yep. So it's all coming together now. Now let's go to feature four. Git check out feature four. And let's do a commit or two on four. Okay. Now one thing I'm seeing is it's obviously kind of quick to head over here and click on our plus sign and then click on our commit, right? Um, but, you know, as long as you know what you're doing in those clicks, that's totally fine. So now four has progressed. It's now blue, of course. And so let's do one more, one more for four, save that. And let's do a git add star, git commit four, Okay, so four is complete. The developer did a just absolutely splendid job. So we are going to git checkout dev and merge four. Git merge feature four. And okay, now we have um, automatic merge failed conflicts. And so let's open that file, accept our changes, save, close git add star and git commit dev. Okay, cool. Kind of liking it. So let's see, have we, we taken care of everyone? Uh, feature one and seven is kind of lonely out here. So let's do a wrap up here. Git check out feature one. And we are now in feature one. And let's wrap this thing up with a bow. Feature one, the more stuff. Okay. And we're going to git add star, git commit dash m feature one. Okay. So what have we got? We have got all of our features with various commits merging into different ones. Feature one is currently in the lead. So Let's get everyone back into dev. Um, okay. So we committed one. So now let's do git checkout dev and git merge feature one. Do another merge, automatic merge failed. Makes sense. We've seen this before. Save it, close it, git add star git commit dash m back on dev. Okay, so there we go. We're all bringing it home to dev. Look at that, it's like a nice braid. Okay, so I think we've pulled them all in. Feature three went, feature two went to feature three, feature seven went to one. Um, then we brought three into dev, uh, five into dev, seven through one in a dev. Great. So now 
dev is done, we have a release. And so let's say that a release is done, however that process is, maybe you have a separate release branch, and now we are ready to um, send it all home. So git checkout master, and um, let's do git merge dev. Okay, we have a conflict, fine. There we go. This is just master, and this is everything we've done through our various branches. We've got feature one, dev, feature three, feature two, five, six, four, and seven. Excellent, accept all changes. Now we need to commit. And back home. Okay, so look at that. Let's see if we can, um, you know, really appreciate this beauty here. Um, there we go, make it bigger for you. So we did pretty good. So we learned that Git Graph can have lots of colors, at least 10 or 12 it looks like. Uh, we only used eight of those, which is fine. That was fairly ambitious for our first try. And we now see that we're sp we started, now our master branch was our last commit. So that's why it's showing up on the far left, which is perfect. That's how, that's a nice ending. And we see that we branched out of dev. We had feature branches coming off of dev. And some of those features branched off right away. A few, or actually one, uh, branched off after a commit of dev. They then proceeded and nice and tidy, we started merging into each other, roll these up, and eventually we rolled all the way back to dev and all the way back to master. So pretty cool. I kind of like it. It took a bit of work, but hey, art cannot be rushed. So neat. So that was interesting. And so I think I learned a few things. Uh, you got to be careful with your merge conflicts. So when you're doing your merge, pay attention to that. It looks like I did something where I had the file open when I did a merge or when I did a checkout. Not good. It kind of behaved strangely. I'm not quite sure what mistake I made there. And then... Um, after you merge, you resolve your merge conflicts, you got to commit uh, before you do anything else crazy like switching branches or, or remerging or anything like that. So I think I must have made that mistake in there. So I'd say, obviously I did a bunch of these in sequence, but if you're doing checkouts, if you're switching branches, if you're doing merges, you got to pay attention and be careful. I know I have accidentally switched branches or I forgot to switch branches. I was in branch A. I should have been in branch B. Common mistake during the last video, um, we talked about how to resolve that. So if you realize it before you commit, you can work in that branch. You can stash your changes, switch branches, and pop your stash. That will get your changes onto the correct branch. We also talked about from the Dang It Git website, you can, if you do commit, you can undo the commit or you can do the git reset head hard, I think it is, that pulls the pointer off of your commit and then you switch branches and it pushes the pointer back onto the branch that you desire. That one is a little trickier, so I'd have to follow the instructions to make sure I didn't mess that up, but uh, that's another option. So there are a couple ways to solve mistakes, but I think this is pretty cool. So this is the reason that we use Git. And I think we executed our artistic strategy quite nicely. Um, the end result looks absolutely beautiful. I think I will frame this. I'll uh, print it out and frame it and uh, hang it in my office. So with that, that was just me having some fun after five episodes of learning Git and practicing. Um, this is the dessert to kind of reward ourselves and draw some pretty pictures. Um, naturally, you wouldn't typically wouldn't have two crazy pictures in a normal environment. You might have a couple features branching off and uh, pulling together, but um, 
Thank you for joining, Kristen. Get some rest. So anyway, this is what developers can do if they want to have fun. So if you have a board developer, tell them to make some pretty pictures. And uh, in the process, they'll learn a little bit about Git. So with that, I hope that was fun and educational and colorful, artistic, no less. So have a good evening and enjoy. Go write some code.